there YouTubers, hello viewers. We've just had the instruction to start our engines. We've been down here for an hour, whilst other people have been off, and uh, we are just about to disembark uh, about an hour past our, I suppose, what a time that we wanted to be gone. But unfortunately, we may have to alter our trip. Oh, oh, sorry. Start our engines. So we're going to have to alter our, our route today. I think we're going to end up going straight to Jacker instead of doing the, the alternative route that we wanted to do, but we'll see. Not ready to go yet. Great picture though, isn't it? Great picture of all these bikes. No one's fallen off yet on the slippery surface. Well, folks, we are in a held position at the moment. Our route today is seven hours, and that's without stopping. So we're going to have to modify our route a little bit. And I think the the top part of our route where we turn left at Pamploma, we're going to have to miss that part because seven hours, and it is 10.30 now, 11.30. If we did the seven hours, that means we wouldn't be at the hotel until the earliest of six o'clock, at the earliest, and that's without stops. So. We're going to miss out part of the trip today, which I'm gutted about because the middle part of it was uh, going to be quite spectacular, but we might get up a bit early tomorrow morning and redo that. <laughs> and it's pissing down my rain chucking it down yeah oh, it might not be raining might not be no no it's not raining it has been no showers so this is a taste of the weather we've got this week folks dark clouds bonjour Merci. Right, remember, left hand, right hand side of the road, not left. There's still got grit on the roads here. Wowzers! Look at this. Look. Good lord. It's trying to reroute me to go back down that way. <laughs> right. Yeah, we'll soon be rooted out of here now. They're doing spot checks, I think. Right, here we are, folks. Spain. Sunny, sunny Spain. A little bit wet at the moment. Yeah. Right, off we go. Right, folks, we've decided that uh, we're going to reroute our trip, unfortunately. Another rider that we've just caught up with when we stopped for fuel as just a... He's just of the opinion as well that it's going to be shit. He was going to the Pyrenees. He's just changed his route. So we're going to head to our destination tonight, which is Jaca, Southern Pyrenees on the Spanish side. And we're going to find alternative Spanish routes and try and stay in some dry weather. So we're not bringing you the Pyrenees like we thought we were. Unfortunately, 
So a bit of research tonight to do, but that's all right. Right, pulling out here, kid. Da -da 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 -da. I'm loving it. Get out the way, lorry. Can't go back in yet. Solid line. And back in. Oh, nice to see some sunshine. Don't, don't get lulled into a false sense of security, mate. The storms are on the way. Oh, a bit of dry road for a change. Bill Bow. Oh, lovely blue skies with a bit of cloud. That's okay. Sun is shining. The weather is sweet. Yeah. I don't mind the odd shower when it's like this. Oh, beautiful, beautiful! What we could do is instead of going all the way up and around, we could cut that section out because that'll save us a good couple of hours and we could just go up that road and back down halfway or something. Oh, look at this look. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Look at that to your left, mate. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is going into one lane, yeah. yeah. Sun, oh! Well, Steph and I last did this route about five years ago, I think, Steph. When we were, yeah, about five years ago when we uh, we did the tent, didn't we? So, a familiar route for us at the moment. We were on very different bikes then. KTM 690 Enduros. Oh no! It's hard to think that tomorrow and the next five or six days, it's not going to be this. It's going to be thunderstorm. No, it's going to be thunderstorms and rain. It's hard to believe. 16 degrees at the moment. Oh my God, I can't believe the blue skies and clouds, mate. Lovely. Oh. oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Well, that's where we're heading, over there. Oh, it's nice riding a little through villages like this. Oh, we've got a nice little journey through... Uh, this valley now. Oh, look at the mountains up there, look. Beautiful. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't update quick enough to make sure you're on the right route. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Pretty. Quite a few bikers. Oh, 
quite a few tunnels on this trip so far, mate. Revving the engine in a tunnel. I mean, how pathetic is that? It's good fun, though. Oh, that is not what I wanted. Sorry, viewers. Bit of spray there. Oh, this is a lovely route that has taken us on. Right, let's find a place to pull over. Yeah, Pamploma's still a bit of a distance away. Right, we're doing okay, kid. Uh, 7.35 arrival. If we stick... Yeah, yeah, still doing that loop, yeah. Yeah, all good. That was that's reassuring that we're heading in the right direction. I didn't think this far out from Pamploma it would be so uh, picturesque. And we go down to the left, I think. Yeah, back down on ourselves. Oh, this is fucking weird. Where is this taking us? Where is this? Look at this. Awesome, man. Awesome. Look at this. Yeah, 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 we are okay. <laughs> Makes you question it, doesn't it? That was unusual. We should have got some photos there. Right, still saying 7.33 arrival, so... This has got to be a different road to what we were just on, surely to God. Right, this is where we are. We've taken a wrong turn, I think. Yeah, yeah, we've taken a wrong turn. That's why it's brought us back. Yeah, this is the road that we were on earlier. Uh, right, this is weird now. I think it's the road we were on earlier. Yeah, this is the road we were on earlier. But it didn't... Um, it wasn't trying to take me back for some strange reason. Ah, right, so what we've got to do... We're going back on ourselves again. That was a bit... That was very strange, that. Right, when I, when I can pull over, I'm pulling over. Oh, that's San Sebastian. To the right. It is weird, because it does look like we're going back on ourselves from the road that we were just on up there. Very weird. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, I'm chilled now. Bloody hell. Those mountains up there looked awesome, didn't they? Spectacular. Well, viewers, it's dropped a couple of degrees now. As we head slightly higher, going to have to find a suitable place to uh, pull over and get our inner thermal jackets on, because it's uh, it has dropped quite a lot. Right, jacket on, thermal on. Right, everybody, we're sacking off the uh, diversion for us that we had planned on this route. Um, it's a bit late, partly due to the, uh, the timing of the ferry coming in and uh, our current time of arrival would have been 8 p.m. tonight if we had stuck to the current route and that's without any stops. Um, and given that the route was uh, pretty nice, there would have been plenty of stops for us to do. So we're going to head straight to the uh, hotel now in Jacka. And current time of arrival is five o'clock. And then tomorrow morning, we'll probably get up a bit earlier tomorrow morning and do what we were supposed to do today. Hopefully that'll only just take a couple of hours. And then head off onto the planned route that we've got for tomorrow after that. So we'll be a little bit better prepared. 
just a shame we were delayed getting off the ferry that's had quite a significant impact so yes we're uh, we've, we're adapting our plans so for anybody that's watching now the plan for next year is to do this as a tour for 10 riders next year details to follow uh, but this very much is a scouting trip as well for doing this trip as a tour for 10 other riders so if you're interested in doing the Pyrenees sometime in May or June next year drop me a DM and uh, we'll have a catch up but yeah that's the plan Right, I'll pull over to the left here somewhere, mate. If I can. Hey. Right. Where are you, kid? Oh, there you are. Haven't got my glove on. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Look at these gumballers, like bubblegum run 2023. How awesome does that look? Look at that in there. Look at that in there. So viewers, we just seen a, a bubblegum rally 2023. Some pretty spectacular cars. Ferrari, a, uh, a Porsche. I think there was an Audi RS6 or 4 there, all stickered up with the Bubblegum Rally 2023. I think most of them were Irish, right, Seth? Yeah. I'm enjoying this. I know we're, we're not doing anything too adventurous at the moment, we're, but this is nice. It's lovely. Look at this view, look. Look at that. Look at this view. Oh, my God. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome. Wonderful. If only it's going to stay like this. Pray for it. Pray, pray, pray. Because at the moment, folks, it's going to turn. Oh, look at that view. Look at that. Beautiful. How nice is that? The road's quiet. Oh, this is great. Cruise control's been on for the last five miles. Oh, my God. Easy riding. Ah, oh, look at these roads. Awesome. Oh, look at this, look. Oh, wonderful. There he is. This route is amazing for the, for viewers watching. This route is amazing. We're, uh, I mean, as far as the eye can see behind us, there's no cars at all. There's no cars in front of us. I'm hoping this road's finished because there's just no cars on here at all. We've got the road literally to ourselves. It's wonderful. Going through the tunnels with no other cars. It's awesome. There's my mate behind us. There's my mate behind us with his lights on and there's no other cars. Not, not there he is, flashing away, look. <laughs> nothing in front of us, nothing behind us. Just two motorbikes. This is bloody brilliant. <laughs> this road now goes all the way down along this lake, folks. So we've got some spectacular views to uh, bring you once we're back on the bikes. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely stunning, that is. Absolutely stunning. Oh, 
Oh, that's another good picture, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I know now. Oh, look at that. Look at there's a track there. Look. Oh, my God. Down in that. I wonder if you can get down in there. Oh, look at that. The colour on the water. It's beautiful. The colour's amazing. Oh, that's a lovely shot, that is, of the two bikes there. Oh, there's the gunballers, look. There's the Pyrenees. Oh, look at the mountains up there, look. Look at the mountains up there. Yeah, oh. Look at that view. Wow, 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 wow. This reminds me of Glencoe, actually. Oh, this is a nice little uh, holiday village. I cannot believe there's so little traffic. Well, there's no traffic. There's no traffic. There's zero traffic. Oh, look at the mountains up there, look. Oh, my word. Yep, we are in Jaka. It's 16 degrees. Sunny. Dry. An, o an omen for tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, so it's just, just up here on the left. Yeah, parking must be here somewhere. Oh, that was awesome, man. Awesome. Well, folks, we've arrived at our destination in Jacker. Second half of the day was spectacular. Absolutely brilliant. So happy to be here now. Going to plan our rest of our day tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, the weather forecast is going to change. It's been pretty bad forecast for the next four or five days but I'm hoping it's changed because it's brutal the next few days with the weather but uh, the bikes have been brilliant absolutely brilliant and I've loved the top box actually I'm gonna get rid of the panniers and I'm gonna get uh, cases because uh, having the top box has been an absolute blessing thank you SW Motec it's been brilliant absolutely brilliant easy to install brilliant bit of kit and I'm going to do the same for the panniers because uh, it's so convenient just to be able to lift a bag out of the panniers and lock it or even lock it and leave stuff in there. I've, I never used to be a big fan of tins on the bike but I've got to say the convenience and the ease of them versus having panniers that you've got to take on and off, soft panniers that you've got to take on and off, yeah. There's pros and cons for them right, you know, I've mentioned it a bit before, there's pros and cons to them but this has been brilliant, absolutely brilliant, the top case, love it, love it, love it, love it. Right folks, so um, I'm going to check in now and uh, get some dinner and a few beers. Stay tuned for day two as we start our real Pyrenees journey. Ciao for now.